I don't know. We're trying to keep a low profile. I would go. Only I can't abandon my post here, and time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Unoratu and... Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but... He hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Ah, Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Chimali the guard saw. Chimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Crap. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away, but you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? 
Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Raimi, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Shimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties, too! Run, run! <laughs> this is all my fault. Please, they were just herbs. I beg you. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. What are you doing with your friends near the building? I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The king's horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quinty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. <laughs> Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree.
There's the entrance. No one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. Manco's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manco from the cult of Kukul Khan.
This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The Order turned it into a crypt. The Order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones. They sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet. Ah, Lara. Quinty returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quenty made it back. Ah, <sighs> but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? What? Lara, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's Bow, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there.
Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent a rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. Here it is. I'm in. Unuratu just left with Hakan. She'll be ready when you open the gate. Kakale, Janu Jantala Suktal Jetel Ukil El Kiko. On the right track. Chipalchuko, so okwautan, tak bela ma, mauka tuyal, tuskutaki kuba, le kushul makobo, oksahola le nono, vale mis balu bet. Pat a shankunsik. This looks like the right place. There's the gate I need to open. King 
Ticket y tú. La Tictemacase se Wentli. Temachtli quali timich masiltise. Kena. Achiwey kenta, titu. Melawa quali ticuahtosquia se chicuey tonali. Now, I need to open that gate. The gate mechanism might be on the top of that wall. Tuni Shokol! Kalanpil! Mother! Would you get him out of here? Jonah. How's Edsley? Fine. They got him out, but Unaratu was captured. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm going after the box. I don't know how long it'll take. Do what you have to. Thanks.
The Eye of the Serpent. That's it. Looks like there's a temple down there. I got Unaratu captured. What's Dominguez going to do with her? As long as he needs the box, he'll keep her alive. these things. It's not Maya or Inca. It's high, but I could dive.
there. It's just a noise. These must be the Trinity soldiers who went missing.
Time to move. Something's blocking this. Something must be blocking the mechanism.
Look at all this. What's behind that door? be here. Ishel and Shakshel protecting the box. to get the water flowing to the wheel. All right.
I can use these to climb out of here.
I'll have to jump. There's no other way. I'm here. We're not at Unuratus. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. support do you have it it was a trap the box was taken and Unaratu was captured we heard we're working on a plan she's being held at the prison by the old temple Akan led a raid and was taken too we'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison it's aggressive what if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. That's Lee scouting the temple in the upper district. He could find you a way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. For strength and safety. Thank you. Laura. I'll get her out.
Really? You believe that? The great Sinchijika and the shield of the Age Maker. Why not? Listen to yourself. Lara. Yes? I am Korianka. Unuratu has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. You played a part in that as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you... One of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left. But I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle. So now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the Shorn Ones is well known to me. Historically speaking, it's an honor. You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes, the first emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the Age Maker. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next Age Maker. That only she may create destiny, and not that false god, Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden. Deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial, designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsli was captured. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get to it first and deny Unuratu's claim. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That can't happen. I was hoping you would say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. This is terrible. Poor Sumak. Hello? Ahau, greetings. Have you heard? It's so terrible. Sumak was killed by his own servant. How do you know Sumak? Everyone knows Sumak. He was my mentor and business partner. He, he made my business possible. Trade in the upper district without the right contacts, is, it's impossible. Sumak did all that for me and more. I'll find out what happened to him. Thank you, Ahau. Have you not been informed of the death of Sumak? Indeed, Ahau. He was a great man. He was. Now sound the call of mourning to usher him to the afterlife. Yes, Ahau. I will play. Come in. How did it happen? When we arrived, Shoko, the mistress of the house, was arguing with Taruka, her servant. Sumak lay dead between them. Taruka was covered in blood. Did Shoko witness the murder? No. She came home from the market to find Taruka standing over Sumak. Has Taruka confessed? No, he pleads innocence. But you're here now, Ahau. Few can lie under the scrutiny of the gods. Hmm. When he confesses, speak with the investigator. He's up near the body. Oh, Ahau, please show mercy. I swear I didn't kill my master. Be calm, Taruka. Tell me what happened. I came in from working the fields. I heard a loud noise, like a gate slamming shut. I ran and found Suma covered in blood. He'd been stabbed. I, I tried to stop the bleeding, but he was already gone. That's why your hands are bloody. Ahau, please believe me. I'll return if I have any more questions. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> I knew it. Ahau, hello. Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. 
The servant girl? <laughs> I wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Suma didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumak's business partner. So they were friends. They're much more than friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Ahau. <sighs> Hello? Shoko? Yes, Ahau. I know this is difficult, but I need you to tell me what happened. I was at the market with... Oh, poor Sumak. Take your time. Start from the beginning. You're at the market? Yes, with Agna. I was going to make bokchuk. It's... It was my husband's favorite. Agna? One of my servants. What happened when you came home? I found Taruka in the kitchen, standing over Sumak. His hands covered in my husband's blood. I yelled and the guards arrived. Was he holding a weapon? No. Did you hear a loud slam as you arrived? Uh, uh, no, of course not. What about Akna? What about her? She was with me. She accompanied me to the market and back. Where is she now? Recovering in her room. She's had quite a shock. I'll go talk to her. But... Uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> as you wish, Ahau. Greetings, Ahau. What do you have? Sumak was stabbed in the neck many times with something pointy and very sharp. Like an arrow or a knife? Whatever it was, it's gone now. We've searched the entire room. Then the murderer took the weapon with them. May I have a look at the body? Of course. May the gods grant you the wisdom to see what I can. <sighs> For a stab wound, there's not much blood. This will never be clean. I must. I promised I would. Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for, uh, for a long time. Akna! I'll find another way around. I don't have enough space for that. More blood. Someone tried to clean this. This must be where Sumac was killed. The ground was disturbed here, recently. This must be the knife used in the murder. Put it back. You must. The mistress said if anyone saw it, she would get in trouble. Why would she get in trouble? Please, Ahau, don't make me. If anything happened to the mistress... You need to tell me everything. The mistress didn't come to the market with me. When I got back to my room, the gate was broken and there was blood everywhere. As the mistress called for the guards, she gave me the knife to hide. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your honesty, Agna. Please. <laughs> Please forgive me, Ahau. Please.
Shoko will be brought to justice. Pakal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife, Shoko. I found the knife she used. Arrest her! No! Shoko wasn't at the market. She waited until Turuka and Akno were away, then she stabbed Sumak in the neck several times. That's a lie! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Shoko moved his body where Turuka would easily find him. You're lying! Then she slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Silence! You will both be dealt with. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahau. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. I was trying to say. What are you doing? I'm trying to read this stupid mural. I will. Show respect. I'm sorry, Ahau. I mean no disrespect to Kukulkan. I'm studying the murals to become a serpent guard, like my father. I'm sure he's very proud of you. But what if I can't understand the lessons they're teaching? Then what? Maybe I can help. Do you think your father would mind that? Would he, Mayu? No, child. I'm sure your father would be pleased to learn you've had the Ahau's help. Great. I've got part of this first one here. It's water. Well, something about water anyway? Uh... I think. And the others I haven't looked at yet. How about I go and study all the murals and then come back to you and we can discuss them? I'll be here. I'm Lara, by the way. I will. When what is above him is now below, the fed become the food that sow. The ground, the earth, Amun, the corn god, Glide within him like a bird, but do not breathe. Water? So him must be Chuck, the god of rain. He erases the dark and brings the day that follows. That's the sun. Kinichihau is the sun god. The gods in the murals are all giving life and taking it away. A balanced interaction. The murals were teaching about the duality of life and death. Heavy stuff for a child. Mayu. Where's a wheel? Is everything all right? I don't know. Her father came and collected her. He said he wanted to reward her for her studies and let her participate in a ritual. What ritual? The ritual of awakening. A how? That involves the sacrifice of a child. Do you think a wheel's father would harm her? I've known him for years. Today, when he came, he looked right through me. His eyes were black, empty. Where did he take her? To the abandoned village. Please, hurry. They're waiting for you. This way. Let's get on with it. Ah. 
Ah, Ahau. I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Her mind and spirit are strong, stronger than any I've ever seen. I am so, so proud of my Awil. She will make a fine sacrifice. Here, the nectar of awakening. Awil, run! A wheel, are you hurt? I'm fine. I ran just like you said. Clever girl. Why did you stop the ritual? A wheel, you were going to be killed. But that's how it is. I was chosen. My sacrifice would keep Kinicha Hao from taking the sun away. Father said he drained me. Dreamed that I was special. A wheel. Dreams can be interpreted in different ways. What if you were meant to stay here on Earth and use your special power to become the greatest serpent god there ever was? Do you really think so? I do, yes. I can't wait to tell father. A wheel. Your father is going to be away for a while. So A will will stay with me so she can continue her studies. Of course. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau. Yes, thank you, Ahau. I will make sure Awil is cared for. Please accept this bow as a thank you. It belonged to my mother. She was an eagle archer. May it serve you well. Thank you, Mayu. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau.
doors. They explored further than I realized. The bridge might have fallen due to an earthquake. couldn't get the door open, so they blasted through the ground. This path leads to the temple.
wind has whittled these structures for centuries. The shield is gone. Jonah! Laura, what is it? Put Koryanka on. Koryanka, the shield's been taken. And Amaru has it already. He wouldn't risk bringing it back into the city. It must be even deeper within the mountain. All right, I'll go after it. Too close. Ubel chakika le pechaktap tu menikshul il kolel. Matushanta lukuchul le ishkebano. Ishbal kun esa holal. Waku kulkan muchaik kachil. Plantikba. Weyet soku yash pahal exutal. Matu klik lak. Lechulus makomu. Matu klik lak. Matu klik lak. 
Janu ki mesalo. Esh katulesh. Shinesh imbalchuk. Sasi ludich kose tulak al kujilik. Mishbal, Tinsi Poltik, Kaukatuba, Tutan in Tipish Chek. Kelan Levala, Akalan, Tianech Telo, Lak. Kuntulkimen, Kuntulin Lakon, Shimbaltesh Le Kuchila, Donesh Kitpetsabaish at Sone Shetanil Kubi Kashuchka Shiken in Wilbish Janil. There's a way in somewhere. Has to be a way in. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Have to be quick. Jonah, Korianka was right. The cult moved the shield deeper into the mountain. I knew it was true. It's beautiful. I'm... Find her! Damn. Laura, what's wrong? Someone's here. more of them. Take 
kashuho kol weyetel lepakalo. Ten anta. Matu beita limbo ke timbai. Wal sila kuna bon. Just won't die. She's got the goddamn shield. Fucking shoot her. That's all of them. Need to get back to the village. All right, I'm here. Lara, you did it! The shield of the Age Maker. It's. What's wrong? It's the ritual. Sacrifice the weaving. No, not weaving. Destiny. And sacrifice. It can also mean creation. The traditional interpretation is we all create destiny. It's just as I thought. Look, the symbol here. Ancestors. But couldn't that also mean imposters? Yes. That's what Amaru wants. Proof that anyone can create destiny. Not only the descendants of the first emperor. You're right. No one can ever see this. This truth would shake Unuratu's faith. It will jeopardize the entire rebellion. 
That would only embolden Amaru's belief that he is the one destined to remake the world. Lara, we have to destroy it. There must be another way. But the truth wouldn't stay hidden forever. I think you're right. Together then, as sisters. Together. Despite this outcome, you showed great courage retrieving the shield. This bow was given to me when I joined the Shorn Ones. Never take a step backwards in battle. That is the single oath we take. You did not take a step backwards in battle today, Lara. You have the heart of a Shorn One. And I would be honored if you would keep the bow. Koryanka. This is... the honor is all mine. Thank you. Is that the shield? I don't even want to know why you're burning that. I'm just glad you made it back. Again. <laughs>